Hi, it's a Wealthy Expat here. I'm Puerto Rican. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico and I made a video on this channel a while ago before I even had 500 subscribers on why I left Puerto Rico and five reasons why I didn't like the territory and I didn't recommend US citizens move to Puerto Rico to lower their taxes. I got absolutely creamed on that video. The comments were absolutely brutal. I got a couple of death threats from that video, surprisingly. So. People didn't like it. There was a lot of dislikes on it too. So I want to clear up a lot of things that I said on that video and I want to say why I really left the island because a lot of people are moving to Puerto Rico to lower their capital gains, to lower their company taxes and some people are generally happy there. I was talking to a YouTuber, she does a lot of crypto and she lives in Puerto Rico and she says it's absolutely amazing. We're talking back and forth. She's saying how amazing it is, I'm saying how bad it is. And we basically got to the understanding that it's actually not that bad. So I'm just going to talk about why I really left, why I recommend people not live there and why I've seen from my clients that have actually moved to Puerto Rico and what cases does it really make a lot of sense. The main reason why I moved away from Puerto Rico, it's because of the size and the type of people that live in Puerto Rico. So obviously Puerto Rico is an island, it's quite a big island, 3 point something million people. We had 4 million a while ago, a lot of people left and it's at the end of the day an island. The island lifestyle, the island vibe, the island mentality is always there. People think that Puerto Rico is the best thing in the world, there's nothing out there, there's no need to travel anywhere. Puerto Rico is where everything is. It's where their families are, it's where their friends are, and overall that mentality, I don't really like it. I travel to a lot of islands around the world and that is overall the same thing. I was in the Seychelles a couple of days ago, African islands, absolutely beautiful, and people have the exact same mindset. And I was actually asking people and comparing it to the people in Puerto Rico, how they think it's the same. I love Seychelles, I will never leave Seychelles, I absolutely love it here, I'm never going anywhere else because it's the best country on earth. Now Puerto Rico, they have the same kind of mindset and at the end of the day it's just a small island, it's quite boring, there's not that much going on as in a big city like here in Dubai or other big cities around the world or just splitting your time between different countries. I'm not saying Puerto Rico is a dump or a basically an s-hole but it is a place that you will probably get bored at some point if you're an entrepreneur that loves to grind that loves to meet other entrepreneurs that just loves to have a much bigger view of your life and of your lifestyle then probably Puerto Rico is going to hold you back a bit. The second thing that I do want to talk about is the internet and the wi-fi connection. This is a big one for a lot of my clients that do struggle with Wi-Fi, obviously they have good Wi-Fi. It's slightly developed. I wouldn't say it's a super developed island because it is not. When I was there a couple of years ago, I did see that it's not really developing that much. It is a pretty developed place compared to other places. It's not a dump, but you do have slow Wi-Fi speeds depending on the Airbnb or the place that you stay in or some hotels. They don't have great Wi-Fi speeds and overall for working online, it's not the ideal place. In Dubai, for example, you can get one gig up and down for your internet and you can do really good work and you don't need to worry about any of that. The infrastructure is much better. The roads are much better, which is also on top of that. So Wi-Fi and internet on top of that, I would say the infrastructure overall. I remember potholes on the streets. I remember just overall the streets are pretty bad to drive on and people drive like crazy. And also the infrastructure overall across the whole island, just like I experienced in the Seychelles, it's not that developed to the point where you're going to feel super comfortable with everything. The other reason that I do want to talk about is the safety. It is not as bad as I put it on that old video. I said that you might get shot at night. I said that if you go in the wrong neighborhood, you're going to meet bad people. You're just going to get shot. And it's not that bad, right? There's some people that live in Puerto Rico. They live in the good neighborhoods like Palmas Reales. It's a very fancy neighborhood. I remember because some of my friends were living there and I used to go to their houses for parties and stuff. And I was absolutely blown away. I wanted that luxury in my lifestyle, which I do now. And back then, I was impressed by that and I'm still pretty impressed by how Puerto Rico has those little communities of people that have a ton of money, maybe in the rich Carlton as well and the residences there. A lot of people live in these little communities that are very fancy and very protected and very secure. So you're not going to have that massive crime rate in those areas, but it's still a pretty unsafe place to live in general. Comparing it two big cities that also have zero taxes like here in Dubai. I'm a big proponent of Dubai just because it's easy to set up. It's a very developed country. It's not a sacrifice to live here apart from living in summer, which is quite hot. And overall, it's just a great place to be. You can never become a citizen of the place. You can never become a permanent resident. But overall, for staying a short period of time while you build your wealth, 
is definitely a place to consider. And I compare it to Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico is where I come from. Dubai is where I actually live and spend most of my time. So that's why I compare them so much. And I would say in Puerto Rico, definitely there's not that feeling of safety. You can't really walk around with your Rolex and your fancy clothes and expect not to get robbed at some point. You can't really walk around at night at 2, 3 a.m. and expect not to get robbed because it will happen at some point. That is a certain particular problem in the island and people know it. there's a lot of drugs a lot of drug trafficking and obviously that happens a lot on the island i'm not saying is a war zone or a place where you can't really go out at all at night that's not what i'm saying that's what i said on that video i i changed my thoughts for this particular video and if you disagree with me dislike it i don't care give me your thoughts in the comments i'm happy to share what i think about the island and what i talk to my clients about because i talk to a lot of people that want to lower their taxes and they're considering puerto rico as an option it's a great island it's a tropical lifestyle there's zero taxes but also consider the cons yeah consider the cons of dubai it's really hot in summer and it's Arab, and maybe you don't like the Muslim songs. So also consider the cons of the places where you're considering. Cayman Islands is very nice, it's very developed, it's also tropical, it's zero taxes, but it's just a couple of islands and they're even smaller than Puerto Rico. So do consider all the cons of the places and the passport where you're getting. And the last thing I would say why I left Puerto Rico would be just because there was not really that much opportunity for me as an 18 year old Puerto Rican guy. I didn't really see much development, many things going on that would push me to be successful. There is that kind of island vibe where things are slow. The government is very slow in processing. That's for freaking sure. I remember my passport to renew my US passport. It took a while. And to get my Puerto Rican driving license, it took a while compared to it takes two to three days here in Dubai. There it takes a couple of weeks or here you could even do it in 20 minutes if you want to exchange your license. So it is a lot less efficient than many other places around the world. So if you're coming from the United States and you're thinking of moving to Puerto Rico, expect a drop in quality of life not a drop in your happiness not a drop in many other things but a drop in the infrastructure in the quality of life in the internet speed in the safety or compared to some cities in the us it's, it might be even safer than the city where you're coming from but overall i would say those are the cons and why i really left puerto rico just because there was no opportunities it's just a small island with an island mindset island lifestyle and it's also quite unsafe just to live there and there's a lot of communities that are very unsafe they have a lot of drugs a lot of drug traffickers people that are just in that industry of drugs and it is quite unsafe to live close to those neighborhoods and overall to drive around the island you will feel a little bit less safe i wouldn't say super unsafe but less safe than many big cities around the world what i will say though if you want to lower your taxes you want to live in a tropical island and you do want to have a lot of nature a lot of beautiful things around you because puerto rico is a beautiful place you have culebra you have vieques you have el junque you do have fajardo and other areas that are just stunning beaches are amazing the palms and everything around is just absolutely beautiful that i will give to puerto rico Rico. that's definitely something that i miss and that i got in seychelles and it was absolutely beautiful i missed it i missed those roads around the mountain with the palms around you and the beautiful trees and the birds singing that is something that you do get you also get a much more relaxed lifestyle you might be meditating a lot more you might be going to the beach a lot more relaxing you might be doing a lot more fitness you might be eating a lot better things just because you're not eating processed foods in the u.s there are a lot of processed foods a lot of imported foods in puerto rico of course but you'll have more of the tropical fruits, you'll have more of just overall a healthier diet for yourself. And the people are also very heartwarming, they're very welcoming, we're nice people. I don't consider myself 100% Puerto Rican, I wouldn't say I'm proud of being Puerto Rican, but definitely people in Puerto Rico, we are heartwarming. We're Latino, we're Spanish, we like to welcome you into our culture. If you don't have a place to sleep, you can sleep in our couch and things like that. that just are part of the culture that is missing in other cultures specifically let's say comparing it to the u.s because most people moving to puerto rico are u.s citizens or wealthy u.s citizens and if you want that kind of life just let's say latino dancing all the time salsa parties bachata parties in puerto rico and you want to meet puerto rican girls and that's definitely something where you will be happy with the lifestyle in puerto rico i do have to say that because even though i left and i don't have any plans of going back if you do want those particular benefits and those features of puerto rico and you don't mind the cons or you mind the cons but the benefits outweigh the cons for you then definitely something to consider and a place to consider for your lower taxes because all i want is you to pay zero tax pay less taxes enjoy more of your wealth enjoy more of your freedom and that's all that you can get in puerto rico if you want to lower your taxes you want to pay zero tax or as close to zero as possible and you want our help to do it you want to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with us see what works for your specific situation maybe puerto rico maybe dubai maybe cayman maybe thailand many places around the world we can discuss them on a free call all you have to do click that 
that first link in the description. And if you have cryptocurrency, which a lot of my viewers have, and you want to learn how to sell your crypto, cash out your crypto off ramp, your crypto tax free without paying absolutely any tax, check out the video that's going to pop up right here, how to sell your crypto and pay zero taxes legally. Check it out right now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, click that like button down below. I'm the Wealthy Expat. I'll see you on the next video.